What's good guys, Julie Breeze back with another reaction and today we have Where Are We Now by Mamamoo. Last time we reacted to Mamamoo was for Aya. Love that song and that whole, ugh, whole music video was just such a vibe. So we are here with Where Are We Now. This did come out about two weeks ago. Super excited, finally gonna react to it now. I'm sure you already know if you are watching this, but Wein recently announced that she is not renewing her contract with RBW Entertainment. But she's still a part of Mama Moo for another like two and a half years. I think that the what I read said that she signed something that said that she would still be a part of Mama Moo and she would still be in like music videos and songs until December of 2023, correct me if I'm wrong. Which I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of wondering like how that's possible, like how that's working with her not being underneath the company, but I'm not complaining because we stand a queen. We love her. I wish her all the best in her endeavors and whatever sh and whatever is the next chapter of her life. Of course, we're gonna miss her for Mama Moo, but we support her. So I'm super happy that she's still a part of Mama Moo. We still get her for like two and a half years, but not gonna lie, I am a little confused on how that's all working, but it's all good. For now, we are going to enjoy Where Are We Now by Mama Moo. Let's dive right in. Three, two, one. Ooh, girl's nails always look so good. Is that Hwasa in the bathtub like normal? I swear to God, this girl is always in a bathtub. Bro, egotistic Maria, like, girl, dude, it's iconic. Oh. Ooh, I love this camper vibe. Oh my God. Oh. Dude, oh my god, Hwasa is such a queen! Sorry. Hwasa is such a queen! Look at her beautiful and white. Oh, looking like a straight up bride. Oh. Look at that. I already know I'm going to be obsessed with this song. Oh, I love her. Oh, I hold, just one second. I need to talk about this, and I know that everybody already knows this. If you stand on the movie, you already know this. They are just so known for their vocals being like they're one of the best vocalist groups. Like they're oh my god, they. Their voices are just on another level, like straight up angelic, okay? Down from heaven, angels. And on top of that, they're amazing dancers. They're all drop dead gorgeous. Like they're just the whole package. But like, it sometimes it takes a slower song like this to really get their vocals and to like, for that to be the focal point, you know? Cause like, like I said, their vocals are always amazing all the time. But for music videos like Hip or Dinga or Aya and stuff, there's a lot of other stuff going on. Like they're dancing, there's, oh my God, the settings and like there's a story and whatever. Sometimes it just takes a slower song to like really enjoy just the, just the sheer goddessness of their voices. Do you feel me? Stop my queen! Oh my God, Solar so gorgeous. A day in our long journey. Yes. Ooh. Yes, Mumio. Drift me like a breeze. This song is about me. Don't cry, don't cry. Like just seeing her, I'm like thinking about her not being here like with them someday. And I'm like, it's still far in the distance. Don't think about it, don't think about it. What? 
at this outfit. Oh my god, you guys, my, I have goosebumps. Why are these tattoos new? Or am I just like really behind? <laughs> I do not remember seeing those on her ever. Stop. Stop. Oh my god, I'm surprised that it wasn't Moonbeal, like standing there with the moon. Looking like straight up angel brides. Uh, I love this, just them standing there, singing their souls out. Ooh, the harmony though, and I, dude, I don't think I didn't notice Wien's V, okay, because I did. Beautiful. Is it over? There's still like a whole 30 seconds. <gasps> I don't want to cry. Stop. Oh, just with the piano. Uh, I did not sign up to be tearing up today, you guys. So cute. She's so- oh my god, they're all so cute. Okay, you guys, but like seriously, this song is just so beautiful. Like, oh my god. I know I already talked about it, but just this kind of song just really showcases their vocal talent. And the whole ending where they're just standing there and the circle of lights around them. Oh my gosh! Genius! Like, cinematic genius. So now let's actually read the lyrics. Okay. It was beautiful and dazzling. And the fact that they're all in white and out in nature, this van, look at her boots. We laughed and cried with excitement and pain. Times when we were thankful, when we promised to never let go in this beautiful milk bath, the flowers we fought at times, we had countless sleepless nights. Oh. I love her. Look at those records! Where are we now? So, okay, so where are we now? This song is just like, where are we now in our relationship? Like, it's not as happy as it used to be. We used to be so happy and young and free and like, what's happening now? I'm assuming they're having issues. Such a heartbreaking song. Ah! So many seasons passed after I'm wandering out there somewhere. Oh, did they break up? Is it like, wait, is it, I don't think it is, but are they talking about like, where are we like physically in the world? Like, where are we? <laughs> we're looking around the middle of nowhere. We're camping. Are we lost? Like, I know that's not what it is, but just them, her saying like, are you like out there somewhere else in the world made me think, oh, are we already broken up? Is this not like, where are we in the relationship? Like, I'm sure that's still what it is, but the fact that they're like on a camper in the middle of nowhere, it just also fits for like, where are we geographically, you know? Oh my, and then this outfit, not expecting that like sexy black dress for this type of song. You just got, you always gotta expect the unexpected. <sighs> Straight up queen in this white suit, Oh. Love her. Or how about just letting me drift like a breeze? Love this. This also kind of reminds me, this reminds me of a shot in Dum Dee Dum Dee when So Young is rapping and they're all in the camper van. And it's literally this shot, but it's more colorful, kind of a happier song than this. But I also really love this aesthetic. It's all warm tones. This little ukulele over here on the side with a crown. I'm seeing a crown, red heels in the back. You know, the essentials for camping trips. Don't forget your crown, ladies. Don't forget your red heels. Wonderful drama. Gotta love a good K drama. Oh. Where's the end? Is there even an end? Question. Oh, her eye notes. Where are we now? Oh, those birds. Oh, 
Oh my god, there's a moon in the background, bro. That oh, she's killing that dress. Are those real? Is this so slay? On fire. And then, then we're in the woods, and then we're in this building. Dude, uh, Mumbio looks like a literal angel! Like, this whole white cape thing looks like wings. I can't. Very interesting choice of settings for some of them, and I love it! Love, like, above a highway, on top of buildings. Oh! I just love this with lights, and they're standing there, and... Oh! Singing out into the universe, like... Oh! I swear, I, like... Goosebumps right now. Each day felt as short as spring. When this beautiful star, the two of us shared the same dream. Bro. Oh my god. Dude. Dude. I'm like low key emotional. And then this just. Uh, you know what makes it worse? What makes it worse is knowing that. Dwayne's gonna leave soon. It's okay. It's going to be fine. We're just all gonna cry when it happens, and that's okay. We need to let our emotions, you know, we need to feel what we need to feel. And I'm going to cry. I'm going to, I just know it. Bye, Solar. Nothing just... like a daily dose of heartbreak, am I right? That was just so beautiful. I don't really have like too much more to say about it because I talked like during the song, I paused it and talked about my, like how I feel about it during the song, but I'm just gonna mention again, just their vocals are out of this effing world. They're all angels. They looked like angels. All those white dresses. I'm said, I've already said it like three times, but that whole, the ending with all the lights and them just standing there in the middle. That was just so brilliant. I loved it. Such a wonderful, sad, hauntingly beautiful song from Mamamoo. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, share, and subscribe. Drop a comment down below how you enjoyed this reaction and what you would like me to react to next. I don't know, there's just something about a slow, sad, k-pop song because when people that don't know k-pop think k-pop it's pop music you know it's like hard hitting most of the times it's poppy you know rap you don't realize that like the slow sad songs that come from k-pop are just on another level and then just thinking about the recent announcement with we in just like makes me even sadder but it's okay it's okay we still got her for a few years it's gonna be fine we are always going to support her no matter what, we and we support you. No matter where your path takes you, we support you always, and we love you. We love all the members of Mamamoo forever. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. God bless. I will see you in the next video. Peace.